This is yet more evidence that we've got a Prime Minister who believes that the rules that he made don't apply to him. And so we've got a Prime Minister and a government that spend their whole time mopping up sleaze and deceit. Meanwhile, millions of people are struggling to pay their bills. And we can't afford to go on with this chaotic, rudderless government. The Prime Minister is a national distraction. He started by saying there were no parties and all the rules were followed. Then he said, ah, there were parties, I've just found out, and I'm furious. Then there was evidence that he'd gone to a party and he said, I didn't realise it was a party. And then last week he was on the fourth defence, which was nobody told me it was against the rules. And now these allegations mean that all of that can't possibly be true. So do I think he's being dishonest? Yes, I do. Do I think that he is a distraction when there are real issues going on um, in terms of energy bills, cost of living, prices going up that people are very concerned about? It's a complete and utter distraction. He shouldn't hang on. Um, I think the public have made their minds up. Um, I think public opinion has already concluded that he broke the rules that he made and that he hasn't told the truth about it. That means he hasn't got the authority to lead the country when we're in the middle of huge challenges. Um, and therefore, he has to go for the good of the country.